So how well do you really know your Burnus? I mean, really know. Well, let's see if you know these five Burna Pro tips about your Burna handheld launchers. One of the greatest features of the Burna launchers is the pull pierce technology that allows a CO2 cartridge to sit in the launcher unpierced until you pull the trigger, simultaneously piercing the CO2 and firing the first round. But this does come at a cost of some velocity on that first round. So if you know that you're about to engage someone and have an extra second to respond, you can make sure that first round is at full strength by leaving the launcher on safe and pulling the trigger. This will puncture the cartridge and charge the system, meaning that first round you shoot will pack the most punch. Look, I've seen how some of y'all are seeding that magazine in the launcher. Stop it. I know that the Burna handheld launchers look and function a lot like a semi-automatic pistol, but this is not a contest to see who can seat the mag in harder. Just slide the mag in until it clicks and you're good. So you've treated your loaded launcher with, I'm sure, the utmost care. But somehow a chemical round has broken inside the launcher. First of all, don't panic. Just gently eject the magazine over a container and then place the launcher in water to wash off the remaining powder. Just make sure you place the launcher in a warm place to fully dry. And throw a little oil down the valve as per the maintenance instructions. Since their launch, the EcoKinetic rounds have been extremely popular due to the fact that they are inexpensive and great for training anywhere. Just remember that these are not intended to be left in the launcher. They are made of a coated powder, and if left out in a human environment, they will disintegrate within just a matter of a few days. This will inevitably leave residue in your launcher. But if this does happen, see tip number three. I get it, we all want to stretch our dollar. I mean, you can just cut the moldy part off the cheese, right? But stop saving your pierced cartridges for later by leaving them in the launcher because you only shot five rounds. Your launchers will last a lot longer if they are not constantly left under pressure for extended periods of time, and you won't wonder if your CO2 is still good when you actually have to use your launcher to defend yourself. They cost less than a dollar. How much is that coffee you just bought? Yeah, about eight CO2 cartridges worth. I thought so. So I hope you have all learned something today about your Burna launchers, but I would love to hear about any tips and tricks you all have in the comments below. So as one Burna Nation, let's make sure that we are all prepared to defend.